All right, so the projects today have to do with um, counting up letters. And we're going to use a couple of different input styles for this. So the first one is you enter in a sentence at the command line. And you're going to print out how many letters are in the sentence. Keep in mind, you should ignore spaces and punctuation. I'm going to use some utility methods contained in the capital C character class as well as the string class. The second one, you're going to enter a sentence and you're going to say how many of each letter are used. I'm going to use something called an array to do this. So rather than trying to make a variable for A and a variable for B and a variable for C, you can actually do a whole bunch of them together. Third one is I'm actually going to load it from a file. So I'm actually going to load it in from the place where the um, project is loaded in. I'm going to type in the stuff that's going to be in that file and then do the same thing I did in two, which is print out the letters. The final one, we're going to load in a file and print out how many words. I'm making the assumption that spaces are the separators for words. So I'm just going to count up how many spaces and if you think about it, add one after that for a sentence. So to begin with, I'm going to start a new project. I called mine counting first for the first of these problems. The typical way I start a new project is that I create a new class. This is named counting first. In public static void main, which is where you start, I'm going to create a new one of these things. And then I'm going to create the constructor. So when I run this program, the first thing it does is it creates a new one of these and runs any code that's in here. To begin with, I need to be able to read in a line from the command line. You have this in your previous project, the guessing game, but just so that you don't have to remember that, I need a try catch block. I'm going to catch all exceptions in this. I'm going to print out all exceptions. And the code I'm going to attempt to do goes here. I'm going to need a buffered reader and a string which I'm inputting. Buffered reader, dr, it's a new input, stream, reader, which has system in. Oh, and this all needs to be in a new buffered reader. Notice that in any new classes, the capitals of each new word are capitalized. So for classes and objects, generally speaking, what you'll see is that the first letter and each word is capitalized. So input, stream, and reader are all capitalized. Buffered and reader are both capitalized. It's complaining because it needs to import these things. The easiest way to import is if you hover over it and click on the quick fix import buffered reader, it'll add this line to the top. You could also just type this line in, import java.io.bufferedreader. That allows you to use that particular class. I need the same thing for input stream reader. So if I try typing this one, java.io.input stream reader. Either one will work. And obviously, if you're not using Eclipse, you'd have to type it in. By the way, it's throwing a little warning right now. It says, hey, you never use this. Well, that's because I haven't written the code to, to use it yet. I'm also going to create a string named input, which I'm just going to set double quotes to. Finally, I need to actually read in something. Input equals br dot read line. Notice that when you use a method, which is some command, so br here is an object. If I want to use something that buffered reader does, I have to use period and then a method. Typically methods, the first letter is lowercase and then each uh, word after that is capitalized. So notice the L here is capitalized in read line. This is kind of like JRU methods where we would say like kim.toss or whatever it was. The name of the object, in my case BR, I named it right there. 
dot and then the command you want to do, read line. Read line is built into buffered reader. All right. So the first one of these uh, commands, what I'd like to do is I would like to go through and just count up how many letters in general are in this. So one way I could do this is I could create an integer named count, set it to zero. While count is less than input dot length, length is how big a string is. Do something. Count equals count plus one. So something to keep in mind. Everything in Java starts at zero. So if there are three letters in a string, they are numbered zero, one, and two. If you try and grab number three, it will throw an error out of bounds because you've gone off the end of the string. So length, if there were three letters, would give me back three. So I want to keep going through this counting from zero, it'll add one afterwards, one, then two. When it reaches three, I'm done and I want to go off the end of this thing. So this is the typical way you do something with a particular variable. So the something I probably want to do is I want to do something with input dot char at count. So since this count variable is going to be changing, it's going to start at zero, then go to one, then go to two, so on, until I reach the end of my string. It turns out there is a faster way to do this. So what I could do is I could say something called a for loop. A for loop basically takes all of these lines and combines it into a single loop. So it's complaining here because this is uh, the same name, but if I say, for example, count two for all of these things, this loop does exactly the same thing as this loop above. So the way a, a for loop is basically a shortened version of this. What it has is the beginning up until the semicolon is what it does before the while loop starts. So it creates a new variable named that, much like we did here. This count to is less than input dot length is exactly the same as the while loop. That's what keeps happening as long as it's true. And then when you're at the very end of the loop, you do whatever is in the right part of this. So think of this as three parts, each separated by a semicolon. So in here, we would do something with input.charat count2. Java thinks of those two things as identical. It's just one takes less typing than the other. <coughs> 